Turner, head men's basketball coach at Bard College, uh, here with you today. Uh, I've got freshman big guy Brandon Cunningham next to me. Uh, we're going to run you through what we call uh, the inside rebounding series. It's a great drill for a big guy or a guard to work on their rebounding timing and their finishing inside, especially off of rebounding situations. How Brandon's going to work this is he's going to be at different spots on the court and he's going to be tossing the ball off the backboard to himself to work on each of these different finishes off of his rebounds. Keys to the drill for the inside rebounding series, uh, a couple things. One, you want to make sure that when you toss the ball off the backboard to yourself, you're giving it a lot of height and you're really challenging yourself to have to go up and grab the ball at, a, at an uncomfortable le level. You also want to try and meet the basketball at the peak of your jump. So as Brandon jumps into the air, he wants to be able to grab that basketball at the height of his jump, not halfway down, or halfway up, or halfway back down. Great rebounders uh, don't have to be necessarily the, the, the great jumpers. If you think Kevin Love in the NBA is such a good rebounder because every rebound is caught exactly at his peak. You also want to make sure that you work on different types of rebounds. Uh, so one of the traditional rebounds is Brandon goes up with two hands, two hands high, and he's going to catch it with ten fingers at the peak. So that's a ten finger catch and grab, all right? The other one is sometimes the rebound will be outside of your rebounding or catch radius, and you're going to have to go grab it with one hand, and you're going to have to snatch it and grab it with one hand. So if the ball is outside of Brandon's catch radius, he's going to have to go catch it with one and rip it back with two. You also want to make sure that you never bring the ball below your chest level or chin level. Always keep the ball either up high or into your chin at your chest. As soon as you bring it down low, whether you're a guard or a big guy, somebody's going to be there to rip it out or pop it up. Part one is Superman's. Toss the ball high off the backboard, catch off the run at the peak of your jump outside the paint. Take one hard power dribble and explode up to finish. Do five to ten from each side. For part two, we're going to work on ripping to our chin. Position yourself at the center of the free throw line and toss the ball so that it comes off in the center of the backboard over the rim. Catch at its peak and focus on ripping from your catch hard down to your chin. Make sure you're focused on not bringing the ball down to your chest or waist level where little guards can get in and poke it away. Finish it off with a power finish in front of the rim. The third thing we're going to work on is an up fake and finish off of a rebounding situation. All of your fundamentals for rebounding are exactly the same. This time we're going to be off to one side of the backboard or the other and finish rebounding on the side. And when you come down, ripping to the chin, but here up faking, selling the defense that you're going back up for the finish. Make sure you keep your body low and sell the fake to the defense before exploding back up and trying to get two hands of the backboard to finish. Part four, we go into Pau Gasols. On Pau Gasols, we want to focus on keeping the ball high above our head or even behind our head and quickly exploding right back up to finish when we land. For these, it's not about how high you can jump. It's about keeping the ball high away from the defense and quickly exploding back up into your finish. This is the way that you're deceptive and you stay away from the guards below you. For part five, rim or net touches, our goal is to develop strong hands while we rebound. We want to throw the ball off the backboard so that it comes off over the front of the rim. On your catch, you want to slam the ball hard off the front of the rim, or if you can't get up that high, just off of the net. Come down, keeping the ball at your chin, and explode back up into your finish. You should be working hard enough and doing this with enough force that you even lose the ball every once in a while. Part 6, Step Throughs. Here we're going to work on rebounding and coming down and using our footwork to find different finishing angles. You'll notice as Brandon lands, he quickly changes directions with a little step through pivot move to finish on one side of the backboard or the other. Be sure to keep the ball at your chin or above your head so the defenders can't strip it from you as you step through and pivot to finish. Make sure you get in two free throws between each part so you're practicing shooting your free throws while tired. 